Okay, so I'm at a different angle because of the fact that my phone has to charge while I'm making this video and my foundation's a bit off because I have the wrong shade. I'm already off to a rocky start. I don't know how to do this. But, 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 today we're going to be doing Jeffree Star Psychedelic Circus Palette. Um, I do have the liquid lipsticks. You see this? Like, look at that, that box. Ooh. But, um, I'm going to swatch the lipsticks for you right quick. Um, and then I'll show you the palette because of the fact that that palette... Reminds me of another one that I have in my collection, and I'm going to try to recreate the look I made with that other one. But, I have two, four, six, seven of the Velour Liquid Lipsticks. This one is Mushroom Ocean. It's a blue. So, let me get that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. That one is gorgeous. Gorgeous. So... I'll go like this. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. It's so pretty. There's always a nice sweet scent to it. Um, this one's bearded lady. But it smells like cake, so I don't oh I don't really mind it. Oh, this one's a very pink. Very pink. Pastel pink. Like that. And then this is the applicator right there, just as usual. Oh, I dropped it. Oh, I still dropped it. Oh. <laughs> and then we have Lizard Jewel. This one looks like it's going to be interesting too. Because of that. Like right there. Yep, look at that. It's metallic. So these are definitely unique shades. Ooh. Ooh, look at, look at that. Oh, if you're adventurous, these are like such gorgeous shades. Like, I'm not even exaggerating. These are really pretty and pigmented. That was just one swipe, too. Clown blood. If you don't, if you know me or don't know me, um, little fun fact. I have a phobia of clowns. <laughs> I really do. Uh, so, there we go. I was like, um, get like coral, I want to say. And this one is Healing Hour. This one looks like it's going to be interesting too. Oh my goodness. I love these. I love these so far. Oh, look at that purple. Oh my goodness. Yes. And then like these. The, the, the packaging is really nice. Really nice. Go like that. You see that? Oh my goodness. Beautiful. Like, yeah, these are like metallic -y. This one's got like a green shift to it. That one's just purple. Nice. Okay, next up we got Mind Bender. Looks like an orangey color. Look at the packaging too. Like, I always love how they put in, you know, in mind their packaging. It is an orange metallic. But at the same time, like, you can just put it in plain packaging because of the fact that I'm not going to keep it. Not yet, like most of the time. It's so pretty. Do you all see the shine to that? So that one looks like it's kind of separating in the tube though. Like you see that? And then lastly we have Circus Peanut. Definitely looks like a coral pastel pink on that one. Like a blend of the other two. Like a blend of these two is what it's reminding me of. So let's see. Let's see what it turns into. Ooh, yeah. Definitely very light, very coral, like a coral orange. I'll put it here so it doesn't like, ooh. Yeah, that one's like a pastel orange, coral. I don't know. Was there the lipsticks? I love that. I love that. I love that. Those are cool. Those are definitely up my alley. And then we have some liquid eyeshadow. Look at this. So these are new. If you've been wondering about these, because I'm like, mm, I don't know. Look, so this one says manifest. I've been interested in these, and I know ColourPop just came out with some too. So that one's like a nude shade. Oh, this is like a round top. This is square, and this is round. Okay, and then that's the applicator. I guess we just do it like this across the back. 
No one's manifest. It's just a plain nude shade. This one says third eye open. Ooh, that one's pretty. That is, ooh, beautiful. Same again with that. Those are nice. Okay. So, just so you guys can see. Ooh. It's like a grungy hunter green. And then, ooh, this one's like very promising looking. This one says Diva Galaxy. There's a few more on the website, I believe, now at this point, and I'm like wondering if I should have gotten them because I didn't, but I got his most recent one that just came out. The Cotton Candy, Candy Queen, something like that. So here we go with that. That's very pretty. I love these kind of shades, by the way. Next up, we have Pink Tablet. So we have like some matte shades and some shimmer shades. and Well, not shimmer, like straight up um, metallic. They're not really duochrome, so don't get that in your head. And that's what that one is. Reminds me of the lipstick, you know. Yeah. Reminds me of that lipstick. Groovy Dreams. Oh, goodness. Getting these open is like, it's kind of hard. The boxes. Packaging is unique for sure. So this one's a matte hunter green. Cross. Or an army green, I want to say. More so. Army green definitely fits better, I think. And then we have another realm. That one looks promising. Let's see what that one is. Oh my goodness. So these remind me of the Stila um, eyeshadows, liquid eyeshadows. If you remember those, those are the originals. They came out that were like these. Oh yeah, that's very pretty. Very pretty. And then finally, we have Star Vortex. Looks like a navy blue. Yes, that one. Look at that. Look at all those shades. Blue, purple. Yeah. Definitely looking forward to this one. But, yeah, I still go to steal, you know, for these kind of things. They are the original, in my opinion. Those are nice. Nice. I have my steel. I think they're still in pack, packed away though. So sad. So here's the mist. It's supposed to be like a, um, it's got a lot of stuff in it. Keep room temperature. It says this one's, um, no, shake glow, no added fragrance. Take your skin on a trip with this dual layer mushroom mist, rose water, and time inflammatory. It's got like a lot of nice little stuff added to it. So, let me try to get this open. I'm not to tear it because I don't have anything to actually um get into it with. Oh, well, maybe. I just want to see if it really is fragrance free because of the fact that um, I don't do well with fragrance, you know. My migraines. I need to set up an appointment to go get that pierced because I've heard that that kind of helps with migraines or headaches in people who are chronic migraine or headache sufferers. So I'm looking forward to that. Shake well. Looks just like that. Okay, cool. Mmm. No scent. Very nice mist. It's a mist, so that's wonderful. Um, and now for the palette. I showed you the packaging earlier, that box. 
Here's the actual palette, and I'm going to show you what I mean by it looks super familiar. What? Did you hear how I said that? What? Okay, so here's the palette. Right? You see this beautiful palette? It is pretty, don't get me wrong. But it reminded me, when I first saw it, it reminded me a lot of this bad boy. <laughs> the Flintstones palette from Makeup Revolution. Like, I know you might be like, no, no, oh. But, I'm, I'm serious, like, you, you see, you, you see what I see? You, you like, like, le le legitimately, there's like a lot of similarities from that palette to this palette, that palette to this palette. This brown shade looks like it's about to fall out. Um, but yes, so my idea was to recreate the look I made from this palette <laughs> with the current Jeffree Star palette, with this palette. So that's all I want to do, because this is the look I originally came up with when I used the Flintstones palette, was this. If you remember, I also made a video about it. I'll probably link it down below, but that's the look I did. It was very, um, I was able to build it up and make it very vibrant. So that is what we're going to aim for today. Uh, I do not promise that it will come out the same or even similar because of the fact that it's been a while since I've done my makeup. Um, been so busy. And I'm already dropping stuff. But we will give it a shot. Um, I do have my e.l.f. Eye Putty Primer on. And the Jeffree Star Pot does have a mirror in it. But I'm going to use a handheld one just because. But I'm going to start with the crease shade right here like this. Because I believe that's the color I used in that one. So we're going to go like this. Just, you know, line it up. Like so. Obviously, it will be a little different. There are a few shades that are not the same. But I just wanted to see, you know, if I could recreate the same look. Because it is very interesting how similar these palettes are. So we got like that. And then I'm going to do... Let me see. It looks like I did a light... A bit of a light blue just above it. Or maybe it was a blue that I started off with. I know my lights are acting all crazy because I don't have my usual ones on either. And I think I did like a green. So we're gonna go I'm gonna use this green. That one right there. Let's see what I can do. Ooh! The powder fall out. So I'm going to blend that in. So this one's very pigmented on that shade right there. The other one I had to build, obviously, the more you're able to pick up, the more color you'll get. So very powdery, but not too bad. There's no actual fallout on my face right now. So I don't mind it too much. We're going to go like this. Okay, nice. So I think I'm going to go back in with Energy Transfer. That's that darker green shade. Like that. And I'm going to try to see if I can bring it back a bit because it kind of got lost. They are very similar shades, so it makes sense. Get it in there. Like so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then, um, I'm going to pat on, just a layer on Altered State, which is this yellow one right there. Maybe I just keep using this palette. Oh, let me use the yellow one. 
start patting that in to start that sunset vibe. So this is very pigmented yellow. I love it. Not having that hard of a time with it. Then I'm going to go in with Problem Child, this orange, this very bright orange. <laughs> so that's what I mean. You see that? So go in lightly with a light hand because you will pick up a lot of color. That's a beautiful orange. Oh my goodness. That is so pigmented. Very pretty. This is not me using a white base or anything either. I'm going to go back in again with Altered State to try to blend these edges a bit. There we go. Just a little blend going on. And then I believe I use like a reddish color. I don't have red. So I'm going to go in with Sideshow Blush. It's a deeper coral shade. It's got a tint of red to it. Enough to where I can get away with it, I think. So we're going to do that on the edge here. Get that in there. Yeah, that definitely correlates more red on my skin tone. Don't you think? So I'm trying to see. And then I believe I ended that with the purple. Yep, and then I went in with purple. So I'm going to go in with Transcendence. That shade right there. Get it on the brush. And then we're going to go out like this and just build that wing tapping in the color very easily as such these are very buildable very easy to work with which is awesome Blending it in a bit more. And then on the bottom lash, it looks like I just went simple with the um, Altered State, Problem Child. And I think I ended it actually with the green. So I'm probably going to just end it with um, Energy Transfer. So like I said, Altered State. You see all the powder flying off? Oof. Problem Child. And then energy transfer. Well, that one's a little harder to pick up. It's very pressed in there. So like that. And then the little line right there, I'm going to fill in with... And this one, I think I'm going to use Tears of Joy. This really sparkly, almost glitter looking one. I think it is glitter. Ooh. Dip, 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 dip. Going to have to change this brush to something a little more precise. A liner brush. So let's see how this does. Getting it in here. Beautiful going in very easily very nicely so love this so far oh yeah yes oh nice I love that I love this so much already so we got that going on for the inner corner though, I think I'm going to differentiate a little from this one. This one I used that silver color apparently. I don't think I want to do the silver. Oh, I think I used a little bit of yellow on the edge. We'll find out in a second. Mm, do I? I think I'll stick with the silver just like it was in that image. So I'm going to clean that off. So with that, that precision and brush, we're going to do the inner corner. 
going to attempt to, apparently. Attempt. There we go. Nice and bright. And I think I am going to end up doing a little bit of yellow on the top right there. So I'm going to do altered state again. Just to kind of help this blend and soften up a little. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I know, a little crazy. So let me do the other eye, and then I'm going to choose a lip. I'm going to put lashes on, and I'll be right back, okay? Just give me a second. All right, so I'm back, and this is the final look. What do you guys think? Does it look the same? I think it looks very similar to what I tried to achieve that one day. That look, this look. It's very vivid. So, quality-wise, it's a lot easier to work with. Uh, very easy to put the color on and build it up. With the Flintstone ones, if you watch that one, I believe I had to really work with it. Like I said, I'll link the video down below. Uh, it's very matte, so I'm going to top it off with the um, Sesame Street. I almost said Sesame Seed. Sesame Street um, Wet n' Wild, Happy to Be Me. The Fun Size Glitz Gloss. I'm going to see if this helps bring some color to it. Or some life. Mm-hmm. There we go. Much happier. With it having some sheen. Mm-hmm. Lovely. Wonderful. But, what do you guys think? So, nice little sunset look. Like that. Worked out. The glitter is great. I love it so far. The colors are pigmented. Um, that orange is one of the best oranges I've tried. The yellow was nice. I probably could build up the yellow a bit more is what I'm thinking. That green one, that like dark green that I was working with, this one, the energy transfer, it's really packed in there. So I really had to like tap on it with the flat brush. Um, other than that, I don't really think I had an issue. Um, that little shade right there, if you can see, it's kind of like popping out of my palette. Is there any fracturing error? I'm trying to squeeze it back in there. Just pushing it back. If it'll work. The pink one's kind of out too. But that thing too, too big though. But, um, yeah, so there's that. But like I said, <laughs> I came up with the same look and, um, basic same color scheme with the Flintstones palette. And this is like half off right now on um, My Heart Revolution. Or you can find it on Mercari. That, that that's it what's it called um but yeah that's really it what i have um the liquid eyeshadows though i'm really curious as to making a look on that one is that this yeah no these ones which one's those these are the lipsticks <laughs> these are the eyeshadows that eyeshadow is calling my name. So let me know if you want to see a look with the eyeshadows because I can definitely stop and do a look with those. Um, I don't really have anything else to say. What else can I say? The lipsticks are good. I did do a um, my normal little outline with this and then center with that. And came up with this. And then, like I said, put a gloss on top of it. I could have used one of his glosses, but they're all the way over there. And the Sesame Street one was right here. So I just went with that. I'm very, I'm happy with it, how it overall came out, so. Oh. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I would buy this palette when I knew that the Flintstone palettes was an option. I'd probably just go with this one. Yeah, just, you know. By now, I think it's only like 10 bucks versus the 60 something for this one. Mm. You know, that's up to you. He normally has sales anyway, so there is that. I do have his newest palette coming to me. It's on its way, and I'll make a video with that one. I'm sorry, I keep looking this way because normally my camera's there, but right now it's down there. So it's a little hard to get used to just because I wasn't expecting it. Um, either way, I have a bunch of stuff to try on and catch up on and everything. I know I keep saying the same thing. 
my schedule changed and it's going to change again because someone's going on a parental leave, which is okay. You know, congratulations. They're going to have a baby. How sweet. Um, until then, though, I will keep trying my hardest to get down and get this, have my camera, like, charged. That's the, also the other obstacle is that I do not keep it charged. So I'm going to try to keep it on the charger and not have the kids unplug it. Um, till then, I hope you're having a great time. I hope the weather's great where you're at. And I know times are weird, very weird. But I'll see you next time. Bye.